And I'm back guys, good afternoon or assalamu alaikum from Motan. Yes, I'm finally here. Boys are doing a little bit of gardening. We're just about to head out, it's three o'clock. It is Ramadan, so we've not ate yet, so hopefully in the next few hours we can get some food, check out a market or two, and check out some of these shrines. Let's do this. And we're on the move. Four, yes, yeah, some sharp food. The only food on Ramadan. Eating, eating while the boys aren't eating. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best shatut ever. Free snack bar, so yeah, as I was saying, guys, it's Ramadan here, so not a lot of places are open just now. They'll open just after 6 pm, roughly. So that's Alex's food for today. And okay, Callum won't even try it. I'm good, I'm, I'm, I'm sticking to the fast. And the boys are out in Motan, finally, everybody's not bus staring at me. But yes, you wonder, where's all the birds, Callum? Where's all the birds in Pakistan? Well, they're right here. Look at this. So this is where all the birds in Pakistan are? Yeah, all of them. You want to get one of them? I want to get one of them. I want I didn't think we'd be feeding birds today, but there we go. So yeah, I can hear the mosque off. So we're outside Motan Fort. Well, let's have a little listen. I thought, I thought they were all flying towards us, they were all ducked. And we're off guys, yes, Voltan. Where are you from brother? I'm from Scotland. UK. So you are on World Tour? Say again? Are you on World Tour? Yeah, travel the world. Is that for cricket? Yeah. Well, do you like Pakistan or not? Yeah, I love Pakistan. Pakistan's in How do you like the boss? I love the culture and the hospitality. The people are very friendly. Yes guys, it's good to finally be in Motan. I've heard a lot about it, uh, so it's good to finally be here. Yesterday the weather wasn't too great, but it seems to have brightened up a lot today. Yeah, they told me it wasn't as chaotic as Lahore, but I'm not too sure. Oh. 
hand him off. I got a little bit sidetracked there, but that was good. I enjoyed that. Cooled me down. A little bit hot today, so it is a lot hotter than what it was yesterday. But there's one, two, three, four, five. We started off with like two or three of us this morning, there's now five of us. So we're just heading to heading into Multan Fort at the minute. How old is this fort, Dald? Hundreds and hundreds. Hundreds and hundreds of years. I think that's a politician's answer of saying I don't know. The sun is blinding me, so yeah, we were going into we we're going into the fort there, but the security stopped us. The army and says we can't go without a uh, without some security. I don't understand why we need security to walk about the fort like everybody else is doing. I don't know, so we're just waiting. We're making a few phone calls as per. And we're on the move, so yes, we're finally getting into <laughs> Multan <laughs> Fort. I feel like no, nobody's ever quiet when the mosque or the azan's going off. Everybody speaks. I wish everybody would just be quiet. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> Quite old. <laughs> I asked him how, how old is the fort? He says hundreds of years. How old are these? Uh, quite old. For, for people who are really hungry at the minute, obviously it's Ramadan, uh, they're very, very energetic today. A little bit more energetic than myself. Up again? Ah. Up again, we keep going. I think there's a view of Multan up here, the boys were saying, so hopefully we'll get a nice view. Back down again. or something like that. Okay. He was the keeper of the place. He looks like a rock star. Yeah. Go shake it. He looks like a rock star. Go shake it. I just realized he's moving. <laughs> just go, go in. You shake it. I just realized I didn't even notice. No, it's a statue man. It's a black statue. So I thought I thought that was I thought that was a statue. But it's not as somebody. That's strange isn't it? I can see it moving. You, you shake the hand. So yeah, you're, so so yeah. The lucky, I, the lucky, I had a good look at that there because if I didn't, if I didn't see him moving, I would have, I would have got afraid. On you go then. Oh, thank you. So yeah, let's let's have a let's have a closer look and I'll, I'll show you exactly. If I didn't actually have a proper look, I would have got afraid. Yes, we're now at the top. A nice little breeze up here. So there is compared to down there. Your man's sweating today. So yeah guys, this is Multan. Check this out. Got all the people lined up down there. So there would have been big cannons here to protect the fort back in the day. So I'm told anyway, they might just be telling me a lot of nonsense. This was basically the old city of Multan and you are seeing the houses over there, it was not before over there. This was all desert and this was the only fort over there before. Yeah, yeah. 
Så skal vi gå. Hallo. Hallo. So yeah, let the boys let the boys walk ahead a bit. So yeah, Milton seems pretty relaxed. Uh, when you first come into it, it looks a little bit chaos, but now that I'm here, it is pretty, it is pretty chilled out. So yeah, I've just took the shoes off. The boys are taking their shoes off, but look at this. I should really do some research because when I ask Big Dowd, I say, "Oh, how old is he?" He goes, "Oh, it's very old." I go, "Have you got, have you got a date?" And he goes, "Too old." It doesn't, it doesn't exactly know, but hopefully we can find out how old this is. How, how, how old did you say this was? How old did you say this was? What do you say? Remember, guess if it, how old is this? How old is this? It's, uh, it's, uh, it's here even before I was born. That's that's a politician's <laughs> answer. <laughs> that's a politician answer. I need I need the exact. Okay, we will find out. We'll find out. I like think that. it's uh, more than a uh, hundred years. No, no, it's more than eight hundred years. Eight hundred so years. More than eight hundred years. Right. Right. Okay. So yes, I'm just walking around the back here. I noticed these were tied to the tree. So I spoke to the boys and they were telling me this, that that shouldn't really happen, that goes against Islam. Uh, people are tying them and praying, uh, when in, in fact they should be praying to Allah. So pretty interesting to learn that. I mean, I, I'm only taking their word for it. Who am I to say what's right and what's wrong? But it's interesting to know. And we are out. So yeah, pretty nice night here. Temperature's great at the minute. Your man stopped sweating. There's a nice little breeze. Alex is getting uh, hounded behind me. Hmm? <laughs> look, look, look. It's his friend. <laughs> she's begging, like, she's like, give me, give me. <laughs> and she started telling her story. So it's, it's all kicking off here. So yeah, I think we're going to go to a market now and then we're going to go and get some food. Uh, they've been fasting all day so have I, believe it or not. It's not been easy, um, so I've got to take my hats off. Big respect to, to Muslims around the world who do this for a full month. Alex hasn't been fasting though, uh, he, couldn't, he couldn't hack it. So I'm looking forward to getting some food tonight. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, the boys are getting hounded. I don't know if she's starting to get a little bit annoyed. I don't know what's happening. I think tempers are starting to flare. What's happening? He is uh, begging for money and uh, he is asking, I, am, uh, I, I need 500, not 100, not 200. <laughs> mm. right. So that's the thing, so he just gave her some money. I think it was 100 or 200 rupees and she's not happy. She said, I want 500, uh, I need 500, I want 500. So that's not very nice. And she's still going out. <laughs> not good. <laughs> How many Pakistanis can you fit into a Honda? It's, uh, unlimited. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go, we're packed in like sardines. And we're out. Honestly, that was, that was a tight squeeze, believe me. So yeah, we're in the shoes section. 
of the walled city here. I'm going to go and get some clothes, but the clothes, the clothes section's closed, so yeah. I'm going to get myself some new shoes. Some local shoes, actually. Yeah, that's wow. Wow. brother. So yes. What's the name of these shoes again? So what do you want? I want some new shoes, my man. Yeah, new shoes. Danny, can you write? Yes, that's what I'm okay. looking for. So what's the name of these shoes again? Shawri Chapel. Pashawri Chapel. Chapel. Right, okay, so let me see. <laughs> Thank you. He says, hey, you like Kusra? And I thought he said Kusra. And I was like, no, you like Kusra? And he's like, no, the, the, the shoes are called that. Uh, His name. But this man does love Kusra. No, no, yeah, man. He's, he's no way, it. man. No way, man. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, what size are these? And the shoes have been selected. So as I was saying, when you're with a Pakistani and the negotiations start, you sort of just get pushed back and then they all start negotiating. I'll just leave them to it. Honestly, they just they just start to go they negotiate over anything. It's actually quite enjoyable to watch, even though I don't understand it fully, but you know they're going back and forward. So yeah, we finally got the deal over the line on the boys did. 2,500 rupees, so it's about, no, it's about 15, 20 quid or something. I don't know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, and we're back in. Can be like at the door shut. It's still not shut. Right, we're in. Oh, Amen. it's getting a bit snug between me and your man here. It's getting a bit cosy. <laughs> so we have purchased Peshawari Chapel, which is for 15 pounds. Just 15 pounds. And they're called Peshawari Chapel. Chapel. Yeah. There we go. That's what, that's what I've got. That's what I'm going to have my feet tomorrow. That's what Imran Khan wears. That's what Imran Khan wears. Yeah. Fifteen pounds. Fifteen pounds. The same way, if you purchase in England, you will get of one hundred and fifty pounds to two hundred pounds. No, but I'm saying two thousand five hundred is like eight pounds. Eight pounds then, even better. <laughs> and I'm in the front, so yes, the sun's going down. We've got about fifteen minutes, and then the boys can eat. You're hungry? Yes. Hungry. Everybody's rushing to get food. <laughs> the man must be hungry. The camera wasn't recording there, but it's just I heard the, the, the scream on these brakes there. And nearly went into the back. Someone nearly went into the back. I mean, nearly went into the back of him. Um, I don't know what's up. Somebody translate this for me. He's like, I want to go back. As you can 
tell the driving in Pakistan's a little bit different from back home. Whoa. So yeah, this is when everything starts to come alive at night time when everybody can go out and start eating. So during the day, most people actually now sit up to, to 4 or 5 in the morning and then uh, they, they wake up in the afternoon. Which means it's a shorter time but before they eat when they wake up. If it, if it looks like chaos, it, it feels a little bit like chaos. And that's the problem. So I, when, you give, when you give one person out the window, I've spoken about this before, then they tell everybody and then they all, they all surround the car, which isn't good. Come round. I can't lean right over. Although I think she's came a few times. Here you go. And there she goes off into the night, happy. Hopefully. And now Alex is getting it in the back window. No, I don't give him any. It's not that bad. No, it's Alex, making it look bad. Alex is miserable. Miserable. Oh, I am hungry. Your man is hungry. I'm sweating. We're surrounded. It's not causing me. I know. I feel bad though. That's the thing you do, you feel bad and you give one then you realise or you forget that they're going to just tell everybody and then they start surrounding the car. Um, so it's not good, not good. And again, you still feel bad. Uh, as it stands right at this moment in time, I've only got a 5,000 rupee note. Uh, and some people say, I'll just give them it, but it's, it's when you're handing it out all day, it does, um, it does add up, believe it or not. <laughs> That's the Pakistani way. See, I feel bad because obviously there's people trapping the window for money and we're, we're getting food put into the car, so um, it makes you feel, it makes, you feel it makes me feel a little bit bad. I don't know whether other people are, uh, how, they, how they feel about it, but sometimes life's not fair. There we go, that's 50. And off she goes. That's so terrible. What's terrible? There's a guy that's disabled and Callum gives it to the guy, but the disabled guy's crawling. I didn't, I didn't. I don't know. Well, no, I mean, at least I'm, at least I'm dishing money out. Alex sits in the back going, "That's terrible." But it doesn't. It never gives money out. At least I'm trying to be helpful. I can smell. I can smell the food now. The man's on the floor. We're heading back to eat this. So I'll see you in a second, guys.
Boys. Boys. Finally, we are back. It's going to be feeding time at the zoo here, but the food is here. I'm going to wash up, guys, and I'll see you when the food is sitting ready to go. So yes, we now have food. Biryani's all round. What's that called? You bully again, What's that? It's Daibala. 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 Awesome. Try it. It's awesome, the man says. Try it. So yes, we're going to stuff our face now. So, signing off guys from Multan and I will see you on the next one.